There we are. He's a very good employee. <laughs> he makes an excellent houseboy. Oh, God. <laughs> I hate surprises. <laughs> That's cute. Thanks for coming by. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Can I ask you a quick question? I don't know who I'm supposed to direct this to. Someone said, ask him who Big Tits is. <laughs> Big Tits. You better answer that. <laughs> But and I said, okay, okay. You know? <laughs> it's funny that you might ask me. No, I had a, I had a trainer on the movie, and uh, he, you know, he had uh, larger pectoral muscles than uh, the cast and crew combined. <laughs> Thus, than Gina Lola Bridget, in fact. This is true. <laughs> Thus, the, uh, the title, Big Tits. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I don't make any excuses for what I do. Let's plug this movie. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we have to do. Air America is the title. And maybe since you're in the driver's seat now, you can okay. tell me what it's all about. Well, it's all about the uh, airline that was run in the 70s that was actually the biggest airline in the whole wide world. And it had 700 flights a day coming and going from Laos alone, and that's not to mention Central America, Africa, places like that. Yeah. And it was owned by the CIA and used to fly everything from from opium to elephants to guns to uh, monkey embryos in jars, whatever it was, they used to fly it. Because they could literally get hold of anything yeah. and put it anywhere. And it got kind of corrupt at some stages. Yeah, now, did you shoot this on a soundstage here or in Palm Springs and fake it, or did you actually go away? We went to the Golden Triangle. Yep, Thailand. Mm. Oh, okay. What's the most memorable thing about Thailand? Or had you been there before? Uh, Never. Yeah. Ordinance, wasn't it? Yeah, ordinance. Well, they had, a, they had the, uh, the Thai, I think it was the, what's the Thai president's birthday. Uh, That's the king. The king, the king's birthday, sorry. And so for three days, they have all these fireworks, right? But we're Americans, and we're spoiled and self-indulgent. So it wasn't over <laughs> with three days. We went the whole film every morning and night. We'd be, you know, fireworks. And I went, I went to this hardware store and, and kind of built this cannon so I could more effectively uh, d and disrupt, uh, disrupt the community. <laughs> Thank you, Carmen. <laughs> That's not nice. No, but it was fun and kind. <laughs> <clears throat> Didn't you all have an earthquake there while you were there? Yeah. yeah. Scary? The building was doing, the top of the building, it was 12 stories high. It was a 6.1, which is pretty hefty. And we were jumping around in bed and rolling. We, I felt like I was in an episode of Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. You remember that <laughs> show? <laughs> I, was, I was wondering, you know, like, People, I wonder how people have the presence of mind when they come out and they have video cameras at, like, you know, natural catastrophes. I had one. He came you know, out into the hallway. Right? I came out in the hallway. Mel came out with a cigarette. He's like, don't like this. <laughs> he came in the hallway. <laughs> Mel wasn't wearing a shirt. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> oh, anyway. <laughs> and he saw, he saw the leeches on my back. It was terrible. Um... Food, good food there. Is it like Excellent. the Thai food on Melrose? It's better. You, it's impossible to get a bad feed there, even mm -hmm. in the middle of the jungle, yeah. and some of the quotes primitive towns. It's, you mean little restaurants out in the in yeah, the out in the boonies, you know? And it's just the family. I mean, they all live in the kitchen, and they sort of. They, but tremendous food. The, the secret is freshness, I think. Uh, yeah. Four kind of snake. Yeah. Oh, stop. I'm yeah. telling you, they had some, some things on some, and he'll eat anything. He'd try anything. <laughs> I couldn't believe, I went vegetarian there. He said, bring out the four kind of dog. I don't care. <laughs> and you know what? When we went out to some of these restaurants, Mel wasn't wearing a shirt. <laughs> but, so, where, where else in the whole world can you go with the hotel, well, for use of a better word, hotel manager? Go out with him to the river, catch an eight-foot snake, knock its head off, take it back, throw it in a pot, and have soup, man. Oh. It's delicious. Oh. And it's very good for your <laughs> male members and things. <laughs> oh, yeah, really? They got it's a like club like there. there. A what? <laughs> <laughs> no, is it like oysters, kind of? Yeah, it's kind of? Asian food is geared around virility, and uh, I, I think it's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But what does it taste like? What does snake taste like? It tastes like a... Don't say chicken. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Does it taste like chicken? It tastes kind of like chicken. Kind. Which kind are you talking oh, about? Oh, okay. Uh, what's your favorite snake? My favorite snake was the, the catch of the day. It was just fine with me. <laughs> snake du jour? Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. I got to try that one day.
Yeah. Well, you chase it, so slice it up and, and make like a little snake patty or... Yeah, and the, the, the bones are left in it, you know, this kind of skeleton. And, and the, the delicacies, all right? I started ripping the skin out and it tastes kind of like rubber, like a Goodyear company put it in there. So, ow, ow, the skin. And, and I threw it away and the guy said, no, that's the delicacy. That, and the heart and the lungs and all those things are supposed to be the best parts. <laughs> Wait, we should take a it's commercial great. and <laughs> we'll have a few minutes to all say, Ooh. don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> we'll be right back with Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> the movie because i know you brought a clip yeah yeah or did you bring the whole movie <laughs> no it opens there you're gonna have to go see it yourself okay what's this clip about do you know i'll set it up yeah this one is um his character gene uh it's gene's idea of the best way to pick up my character billy and take him to work uh if he's tied a few on the night before right oh okay <laughs> give him a ride to work it's commuting yeah time, man. commuting sandy kick it Did you actually do that, or is, is there an angle that we didn't see the stunt? I'm movie? here to testify. This guy did that once. <laughs> you did? I yeah. did it once. A stunt, stunt man did it first, and I said, well, I'll try it, you know, and they had, a, they had a safety cable going down the middle of the rope, and I said, but, well, you know, you got to do your own stunts if you're doing a movie with this guy, you know? Otherwise, you're going to look <laughs> really silly. Yeah. That's what I told him, and then I didn't do any of my No, own. you didn't. No, the stunt... <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know... A lot of people see Mel's movies, and, and he does do most of his stuff. But I was calling around today trying to get some 411, get some dirt, you know? Yeah. And you come up with? Not you. I find, <laughs> I find out that he does most of the stuff that he says he does, except one time he had a stunt Heine in Lethal right. Weapon. We thought it was your butt, but it wasn't. And all the ladies were screaming. Yeah. And they told me if they, if they sent me the clip, I'd have to pay the guy whose real hiney it was. And it was in Bird on a Wire, I think. It was, it was, uh, it was some other bum. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> it, it, was actually, it was actually my sit-in. Yes. Yeah, my <laughs> sit-in. But, uh, but, but see, I knew they would have that reaction, so I got Gallipoli where you... It, right. was, it was your butt. <laughs> Let me see it, Sandy. Oh, it was your butt. No stunt butt here. <laughs> this is the real one. Sandy, let him see it. Butt this jokes. is the real one. <laughs> the real one. <laughs> And I'll tell you, I, I, I did my... You <laughs> <laughs> sweet mother of God! <laughs> and, and actually, I think... <laughs> oh, boy. Now, now, I think you're wrong. I, I, I did my research. Lethal Weapon was where they had the stunt butt. I think Bird on a Wire, if I'm not mistaken, was your butt? Let, Sandy, let me see. I think that was your butt. Oh, no! <laughs> no he's, he's got the whole butt. Out. 
Let's take a look. I don't know. Yeah. Jeez. How is it? Well, it's not bad. You've got a cheek putting that on, really. I spent three months with him in Thailand, and I know that's not his butt. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> now, now there, there are no tushies in this movie, Air America, right? None. No. No. Except he's a horse, is that? Well, he's... <laughs> we don't even take our T-shirts off in the jungle. No. I'm sorry. We'll be bitten by mosquitoes. This is a socially relevant Film. It's an action adventure, but it is a socially relevant film. Were there a lot of mosquitoes and stuff? Yeah, yeah some. Yeah. But I heard it was real hot. It was hot for about two weeks, wasn't it? Yeah. About 110 on the time action. Yeah. Well, I know you've done a lot of those films, you know, like wearing leather in the desert. I haven't done that stuff. I'm from <laughs> LA. I don't know about that. You That's see, true. like, crew members just dropping like flies. You said, you know, I got, a, I got like an umbrella with some ice on my neck in the corner. You know? <laughs> it's a portable sauna, you know. But when did you roll that? I just, you know, it's a drag. Shaving's a drag, you know? And plus, I wanted to look a little thinner because, you know, I'm, I gotta sit next to him for 20 minutes, you yeah. know? And you look a little better. You never know, he might take his shirt off. That's right, you know. <laughs> Let's take a commercial, we'll be right back. 